we're going to figure out which is the stretchiest cheese. That's a lot of cheese. I can't get it out of my mouth. In this experiment, we're going to find out which type of cheese is the stretchiest. And we're going to do that by making grilled cheese sandwiches. Which is why we'll need a cutting board, a ruler, a 12 inch nonstick skillet, and a spatula. We'll also need four slices of hearty bread, a half a cup of extra sharp cheddar cheese, a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Don't use pre-shredded or low-fat cheese because they won't stretch as well. Let's get started. First, take your extra sharp cheddar cheese and sprinkle it evenly over one slice of bread. Then, take your shredded mozzarella and sprinkle it evenly over a second slice of bread. Nice, you guys. I love a cheesy grilled cheese sandwich. Same here. Yeah, get all that cheese on there. Once you're done with that, take the remaining slice of bread and put it on your sandwich. Press down gently. Perfect. Time to cook the sandwiches. In a 12 inch nonstick skillet, melt butter over medium low heat. Nice. And we've got two tablespoons of butter. Don't forget to turn the stove on. Awesome. You can pick up the skillet, give it a little swirl. You want to get a nice even layer of butter all over the bottom. And butter is also what's gonna help make our grilled cheese sandwiches a really nice golden brown color too. Go ahead and put it back down and here are your sandwiches. Pop those on either side of the skillet. Here comes our cheddar. Watch your fingers. Yep. Take the spatula and then just lightly press down on the sandwiches. You wanna get maximum contact with the bottom of the skillet so the sandwiches are a nice even brown when we're done. And we're gonna cook these until they are golden brown on that first side, which should take about three to five minutes. So our sandwiches are ready. So go ahead and use the spatula, slide it all the way under, and oh, look at that nice and golden brown. Pro flipping technique right here. Ah, beautiful. So now we're gonna cook them on the second side for about a minute, just until they're golden brown and the cheese is all the way melted through. And then it'll be time to stretch. This is like a really complicated this game. This is very complicated. <laughs> I think our grilled cheeses are done. So Sasha, turn off the stove. Nice, and go ahead and take the grilled cheeses out and we can pop them right back on our cutting board. They're really hot right now, so we wanna give them a chance to cool before we stretch them. Oh, those look awesome. So while we're waiting for these to cool, let's make a prediction. So Neil, which cheese do you think is going to stretch the farthest, the cheddar or the mozzarella? Mozzarella. You think mozzarella? Yeah. Why? Because mozzarella sits. All right, good reason. And Sasha, what do you think? What's your prediction? I think it's going to be the cheddar cheese because it looked a little bit like longer. All right. Well, now let's see how far our cheddar cheese can stretch. So Sasha, go ahead and pick up that sandwich and just use your fingers and break the bread, but don't break the cheese. And when you're done, keep this hand steady and start to pull with your other hand. And you're going to stop pulling when the cheese no longer is holding the two halves of bread together. Nice. There it goes and freeze. All right, let's measure. What do you think, Neil? I think four inches? Four and a half. Four and a half, so our cheddar cheese stretched four and a half inches. So let's see how far the mozzarella can stretch. Neil, you wanna take this one? Yep. All right, so go ahead, break it. Nice, and then start giving it a nice stretch. Oh, there it goes. This one looks super different than the cheddar, huh? It does. Whoa, it's still going. It's really stretchy. And it's still going. You need some and help. more, yeah. Team effort. <laughs> Keep pulling. Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. Still stretching, still stretching. I'm gonna get out of your way, it's freeze. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a little tag team measurement. So that's 18 inches. 18. Hold your finger there. 
and 18 inches. I think this is a Young Chef's Club record. 18, 18 plus three and a half. 18 times two is 36. 21 and a half. Plus another three is 39 inches. Wow. That's, That's a lot of cheese. 39 inches. And so our winner is mozzarella. mozzarella. What makes mozzarella so stretchy? That's a great question. It has to do with the way mozzarella is made. When you make mozzarella cheese, you stretch and pull the cheese curds over and over again. And what that does is it causes proteins, these molecules in the cheese, to line up in these really straight lines, wow. just like these rubber bands here. And so when mozzarella cheese gets hot and those proteins kind of loosen up, it's really easy for them to flow and stretch in straight lines. Do you want to try it? Yeah, All right, sure. So grab our proteins here and give it a little pull. Pretty easy to stretch in a straight line, right? Yeah. So cheddar, on the other hand, is made differently. It's not pulled or stretched, but those cheese curds, when you make cheddar, get smooshed together and squished into a block of cheese. So cheddar's proteins, they're not in straight lines. They're all jumbled up and tangled. So that means when cheddar gets hot and melts, it doesn't form straight lines. It kind of flows in all different directions. Do you want to try it with these proteins? Sure. Yeah. All right, so if we each grab kind of maybe a side of them, yeah, it's kind of hard to make a straight line. Yeah. So cheddar cheese is really good at melting and it's really delicious in a grilled cheese, but it doesn't stretch the same way mozzarella cheese does. And that's why mozzarella is our winner. Wow. Send in your videos and pictures of how far your cheese stretched with the hashtag ATKKids. I have the dance move. What is your 80s dance move? What is that? Why is that 80s? <laughs>